honorable guest uh, uh, Adel Rana, uh, NYPD commanding officer, to uh, share his thought on this topic. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I'm going to be short, but before I start, I just want to say Sister Sarah Saeed said amazing words. You guys should go back and revisit those words. She touched on a lot of topics throughout different aspects of life. So please, you know, I think uh, she did a great, uh, great job. But the main thing is that, that she talked about was the, the love, the, uh, love the part about unity among all of us. We need to be united among us first before we can start uniting with others. We have masjids that fight between each other. We have masjids that, you know, uh, not only verbal fights, but physical fights with the boards. How can you be helpful for your youth or your community when you cannot even help yourself? So we need to take that out of the mindset. The other thing we have to uh, eliminate is that generation gap. Our brother mentioned something about saying salam to you when your kid comes. Guess what? You need to be a friend, a close friend to your child. We, we need to get out of that mindset. When I was growing up, I never had a conversation with my father. I'm pretty sure a lot of you never had a conversation with your father. Because, and the same thing with the father, because the culture that we were brought up, we nev he never had a conversation with his child. We need to change that because we need to provide the services for our youth so this way they don't have to look for someone else to reach out to. They can come to the house and reach out to someone in the house. So please, we need to really work on that because I'm guilty of the same thing. We all are guilty of the same. But we need to change that little by little. You know, so this way our next generation can be more open. It can't be always parenting by stick. We have to parent by emotion and love for uh, our kids. The other thing uh, was important was mental health. You know, many of us disregard the portion about mental health. No, it can't be my kid that has issues. Or it can't be my relative. Take that initiative. City offers free mental health. Utilize that. Go to your imams. We have a great tool here. The imams is wealth of knowledge in very aspects. And I, I really uh, am honored. I think this should be highlighted. What are you guys are doing today? All the people coming together to one, denounce a horrible act, and the other to work together to make sure that we prevent this type of act. So please, you know, we keep it going. The other thing I want to say is with the NYPD, we have a lot of programs for the youth. If you think your youth needs programs, please get them involved in the program. We have explorer programs. We have youth, summer, uh, youth police academy. We, we even started a teen academy, which actually I just came from the graduation, where youngsters from 13 to 17 can be part of the police department. Again, that doesn't mean they have to be police officers. That just teaches them leadership skills. That just teaches them how to interact with others. You know, how to, how to uh, be part of the society. So please take part of those things. We also have cricket and soccer program where your kids can be involved in these type of programs and interact with others. So please take, you know, a part of this. Main thing is understand Islam. Understand, learn. It's not only about memorizing the Quran, make sure you know what it says. Again, I can keep on going, but the time is short. We're here as partners. I'll be here. If anyone has any questions, even in the future, get your kids into uh, these type of programs. Get yourself in programs and, you know, uh, be part of the change that we need. Thank you. ITV, Call of Peace, Save Humanity.